Hi, my name is Yixuan Cai from UC Merced. So I'm going to introduce our work, Video Simulation Fire Object Flow. And this is a joint work with Max Planck Institute. And here's the motivation. So given two frames at time t and t plus 1, we can estimate the object flow based on the movement of the object. And how about we know the simulation of the object? Can we use this simulation to improve the optical flow result? And the answer is yes. So here, you can observe that the simulation is exactly the region where we want our optical flow to be accurate, especially around boundaries. So the problem we are solving is, given the video sequence and the initialized segment of the object, we want to segment and check the object in pixels. And this process usually requires temporal consistency. Um, so, moreover, we also want to estimate up flow, especially around boundaries. Here, to maintain the temporal consistency, we can use the optic flow to obtain this information. And for optic flow estimation, we can use segmentation to obtain details around the boundary. And based on these two observations, our goal is to update and improve the result for both the segmentation and the optic flow. Therefore, we propose a joint optimization problem for both the optic flow and segmentation, and we call this process as the object flow. So for the symmetry model, we first start from generating superpixels, and then we construct a graph to connect the superpixels. In addition, we connect pixels within each superpixel to obtain the final details. Then temporal connections are constructed in pixels between adjacent frames. Then we solve this graph so that we can estimate the object mask. Then we use, use this object mask as an input to the, um, to the optical flow model. Furthermore, we can use this updated optical flow result to update the segmentation model. So here, we formulate the entire process in a single principle formulation and solve it by iteratively updating two models. To summarize, we show that simulation and optical flow can help each other, and we propose a joint model that can be solved efficiently. So you can download our code um, here, and if you have more, uh, want to know more details, please come to our poster. Finally, we show some visual results for our video object simulation on the YouTube object dataset. So here, you can see that our method can handle changes such as deformed shapes, or occlusions, or face-moving objects, or multiple objects with cluttered backgrounds. Thank you.